how did you get started working on um, on metal and aluminum and stuff like that? Like, that's not necessarily um, the medium that you'd go like, well, that's what I'm going to paint it on now. You know, and you cut it out and stuff too. Yes. Um, yeah. So it's like an it's alu panel that I'll get. So it's two real thin pieces of aluminum surrounding a, like a plastic core. And I liked it because for a long time I had been painting on uh, two types of wood. And so I was taking masonite and MDF and fusing those together. And then I was cutting the shapes out of that. Um, very, very big and heavy pieces. And when I can, when I can use some aluminum and then I'll put a backing structure in sign foam. So everything is very industrial. The pieces that I'm doing now can go outside if, if that's what the client wanted or they can stay inside and mm. they'll be totally just fine in either place. Plus the, the wood ones were running anywhere from 50 to 75 pounds. If you were getting up and big in size, oh. the aluminum ones, Ma- they max out at maybe 10 pounds. Okay. And for a big, uh, and I'm talking of good 50 inch diameter piece and uh, can be between 10 and 12 pounds when that is totally done. So shipping is uh, so much better huh. and the strength is actually better too. Plus it's a nice smooth surface too. And I use enamels these days and I was just going to ask, um, how does the paint adhere and what type do you use so that it doesn't first yep. so that it gives and takes too, as well, because aluminum can still kind of bend a little, right? Well, this is, um, yeah, it can bend a little bit, but it's a three millimeter. Mm-hmm. So, and there's two pieces of, of aluminum. And so on the back, hang on one second. Yeah, go grab something. I want to see it. (laughs) All right. So here's here's one that I'm working on. And so this has been cut out. So there's there's different different holes in here. You can see that. Um, So they're thin. They're an inch wide. Yeah. And then on the back, I have these different, this is a material called sign foam. Huh. And that's um, that they literally make signs out of it. So it's again very strong m- material. And then I, uh, I think this was some type of gorilla, gorilla glue. Yeah. That I used, and so, but again, really light. This one is approximately I don't know three feet by four feet, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe not that big, but less than less than ten pounds. For sure. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's ingenious. The 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 fact that you realize that, like, the bigger it gets, the heavier it's going to get if it's on wood. I mean, there's canvas, but that's that's different. That's not and that can't be hung outside, huh? No. And the the canvas I've painted for years, and I have a canvas going right now that I started with spray paint, and uh, just to try something different. Right. Yeah. And I've got a, a little hallway full of old canvases from grad school and throughout the years. But um, I always I got into the wood because I like the surfaces being this, and I got in. Let me back up. I got into using the wood because it was nice and smooth mm-hmm. because I switched from using an oil base to using an enamel based paint. And I really responded to the shine of that enamel paint okay. going on the surface. And it's, and I started off on canvas using enamel and I had, um, a learning process occurred because the texture of the canvas made it a little more difficult to work with the enamel. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I switched to the wood and having the nice smooth. And then from there, the aluminum, which is also um, not, it's not as messy as cutting out um, a big piece of uh, MDF board either. Right. So, well, and how do you, how do you like, plan that out as well? Because you have different with the way that Mm -hmm. it's drawn and all that, like you have, holes cut in the middle like are you cutting it first so so i'll go through and i will um either use an old drawing that i have or i will design a drawing um either in hand or on an ipad using procreate 
Okay. And then I will take either the picture of the pencil drawing or just hook the iPad up and I take a projector and I'll blow, I'll blow the little drawing up. And so then I will, I will get the outline. And then from there, I will go and start cutting out and, okay. and then, and then go to town on the paint. All right. I was curious so, if you painted it first and then you cut out around it or not. No, no, that, um, I have taken it off the wall and corrected mistakes in oh. what, where I, where I see and I'll cut, but the surface of the paint always gets a little marred mm, that in makes doing sense. that. And so I, I end up having to repaint the whole area to get happy again. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to get all of the cutting done at once. Mm -hmm. 